prove to me that you're not broke. Drizzle, drizzle. Because all I'm getting is brokey energy. Short queen energy. I drive a $12,000 Honda energy. That's all I'm getting. And until you can prove to me that you're not broke, you don't get to comment. Because drizzle, drizzle is a non-brokey conversation. So if you want to be not broke, I can teach you. I shouldn't have to teach a woman how to support me, but I have over 150 Airbnb properties that I don't own. And I can teach you how to do the same. I've been teaching people how to get their come up for like eight years. A lot of these kings make money because they do Airbnb. So if you want to not be a brokey and you want people to listen to your comments, learn to Airbnb. So you guys requested and I'm responding. You asked that I upload more of this drizzle drizzle soft guy era. So get ready. I will upload as much as I can because I'm enjoying it as well. <laughs> this is good, like pure good. So let's hear what the Drizzy Drizzy Soft Era Kings have got for us this time around. When I say this, you guys are going to be confused and look at me crazy. But I broke up with my girl of three years and we were planning to get married in a year. And shout out to my man's Mark for coming forward and telling his story. You empowered me to tell mine. So this girl stuck with me. I had 80K student loan debt, 25K in credit card debt. I also had a failing business, right? But she stuck with me. She actually moved me into her own place and she actually let me use her car to drive so I can sell mine to literally get out of my credit card debt. I mean, man, when I mean I was working at the warehouse, yo, I was working at the warehouse. She would literally Uber eats me food with the little money she had to show me her appreciation. Nah, because I've been wanting to cry because when nobody else believed in me, like, you know what I'm saying? My family didn't believe in me. Like, she believed in me. But it was just something about her that I knew that she wasn't the perfect girl. I knew there was something better out there for me. She was a good girl. And she believed in me when no one else did. But there's something better. So I decided to break up with her. Men want us to be their servants. We Men don't want anything from you we're in our soft guy era drizzle drizzle we've checked out we're tired of providing and protecting for women that don't give a damn about us and constantly complain about the masculinity that it takes to provide and protect you call it toxic so we quit drizzle drizzle we don't need you to do anything for us drizzle drizzle matter of fact it's time for you to lead the way with your wallet drizzle drizzle if you want to be with one of us then it's time for you to pay for it drizzle drizzle we've given up we quit we checked out everything that we do is wrong even though we built the country that you live in we've given you a whole world and you're still unappreciative drizzle drizzle so it's time for you to take the lead with your wallet, Drizzle Drizzle, and pay for us men. Drizzle Drizzle. I'm sorry, bro, but nobody can get mad at this whole soft guy era trend. All this trend is doing is taking literal scripts of what women say and just reversing it. But see, a lot of times we only look at things from one perspective, our perspective. It's only when it's flipped and we look at it from another perspective where it's like, huh, that shit do sound a little crazy. Honest to God, this trend slash parody isn't even talking about normal women. I don't even think I met a woman in real life who actually believed this shit. But we are talking about the women on the internet who talking about, oh, I can't go to Cheesecake Factory. I need to go to Nobu. Shorty, we normal people. Oh, I make 100000 a year, but I need a man to pay for my whole lifestyle. Rent, cars, clothes, shoes, everything. Shorty, that's just selfish. This trend isn't meant to attack anybody. This trend isn't meant to belittle anybody. All the trend is saying is, hey, if we switch places, how would you feel? And judging off of these responses, y'all do not like it. So now that poses the question, are we going to stop this crazy talk on the internet or not? Because I'm not going to lie, if this crazy talk don't stop soon, all the men are going to be in a soft guy era. Drizzle, drizzle. <laughs> I had to say it. Exactly, like I don't get why the women are mad at this because the men are literally using your script. So, like, 
the way it's sounding ridiculous to you is how it sounds to everybody else that has common sense. So <laughs> they just only turn the mirror on you. Just you know, look at yourself, hear yourself. This is how you sound on a on a daily basis on this app. <laughs> The fact that the joke is going over their head, that's the, the most amazing thing. Ah! Can someone explain to me why so many women get pissed about the dudes in their DMs even though they're posting half-naked pictures on the internet? Y'all will be practically naked with your butt cheeks out, your breasts out, full face of makeup, filters. You'll edit your photos so you look slimmer with a fat ass and bigger boobs. You'll edit your photos to not have cellulite. You'll do all of this stuff and post it on the internet, basically cat calling men, but then get mad at the dudes that are in your DM. And I can almost guarantee you that the majority of you, if y'all went missing, nobody would find you because you don't look like the person in the photos. Take off all of the makeup, take off all of the filters, show your natural self and see how many dudes are in your DMs then. Some of y'all want attention so bad and it shows. But not only that, you will do all of this for one guy to hit you up. The one guy that you're trying to get his attention rather than just being classy and initiating conversation with the guy that you actually want. You'll be lustful for a bunch of dirty dudes in your DMs. Make that make sense. And then you consider yourself a high value woman. You cannot be mad at the dudes in your DMs if you're posting half-naked pictures because you know exactly what you're doing when you're doing it, and you're doing it for attention, so it's stupid to play dumb like, oh my god, I have all of these dudes in my DMs, and let's not forget, a lot of y'all put your value in the dudes that are in your DMs, and those men aren't worth a damn. Stop catcalling men and posting half-naked pictures if you don't expect them to slide in your DMs. Okay, bye. Kings, I just got the immediate, immediate ick. So I've been talking to this girl. And she's like, hey, loco, you know, hope you're having a good day. How was your training session? And I responded with, it was not good. Not good at all. Like she knows that I didn't have a good training session, and but she didn't immediately follow up with, you know, a post-workout meal, you know, sending me money for that, sending me money for my supplements, like... So immediate block, dude. I immediately blocked her. Drizzle, drizzle. Like, if you're not going to, like, support me, you know, support my goals, like, just say you're broke. You know, just say you're broke. Uh, you know, I know my worth. I know what I bring to the table. So if you ain't going to buy me new Fairtex gloves, new shin pads, new rash guards, new geese, all the John Downer, you know, instructionals, the BJJ Fanatics, you know, subscription, the flow grappling subscription. If you're not doing none of that, block. Because remember, guys, if she wanted to, she would. Know your worth, Kings. Drizzle, drizzle. Oh my God, guys. <laughs> Somebody in the comment section said, It's giving broke girl. It's giving poverty. Please leave her immediately. Break up with her. <laughs> oh God. Tell me I'm not the only one having fun with this. Look, my, this is the the best thing that has happened on the internet in a while. Like, what? <laughs> Since we in our soft guy era. Right, soft guy era. You know what I'm looking for? What you looking for, King? I'm looking for me a drug dealer, bitch. <laughs> That's right. A gangster hoe. A gangster hoe? I need hoe? a woman out there pushing them pills. Not the pills. Pushing that weight. The weight? I need... A drug dealer, bitch. <laughs> drizzle, drizzle. Because we spontaneous. Okay. I'm spontaneous. Okay. So I want to be able for her to take me to, to Jamaica take whenever I feel like Jamaica? it. I might want to go to Paris. Paris? And I can't do that with no bitch with no nine to five. Come you on know, now. that's cool. Right, that's cool. But that ain't for me, drizzle, drizzle. Not the drizzle. I need a woman out here scamming. Sc Oh, you want a scammer? Pushing that yay. Not the yay. Out here. Okay. I need a bad bitch who doing it big. Boss bitch for real. Because I need to be able to get on them jets whenever we You're feel like fight? it. They got to be making that, that big money. What about that, spirit? That hardcore money. No, Not man. that nine to five bullshit. Well <laughs> That's all I'm doing for y'all.
But for me, I need a little something different. Come on now. Now, if she locked up or whatever, no, she got to, I'm going to hold that bitch down until she gotta get out. You got to hold it down. You I'm going to get it a down. regular bitch to take care of me until she get out. Because <laughs> that's how we going to do it. So out there, hey, all the thug bitches out there who selling that yay. The thug bitches? Who pushing them pills, who scamming. Okay. I need y'all to go ahead, inbox me, but you make sure that you send me something in my, my cash app as the well. cash app. A bro need to get his his beard done. Okay. You, you feel Got me? The line of beard so up. I'm out there. All the drug dealer bitches, go ahead, <laughs> hit me up, baby, because y'all winning in 2024. Soft guy era. Drizzle, drizzle. Drizzle, drizzle. There you go. Shout out to Escape Tricks, bro. This, this these niggas is wildin', bro. This shit is so fucking funny, bro. I love this shit. This shit is so fucking funny. It, it just goes to show you, bro. When when you get when, listen listen to yourself, listen to yourself and how fucking stupid you sound. <laughs> Great. Soft guys are not expensive to take care of. Like I don't have any problem paying all the bills and taking care of you the problem that i have with these soft men is that they won't submit mm -hmm. they won't listen sister i agree listen fellas when you're in your soft guy era you just have to submit we are not expensive all we need is a haircut we can clip our own nails things of that nature we're good hook the game up play the game all day talk to the guys on the game on the mic we're good we'll eat microwavable food all day it does not matter we are cheaper to take care of. So all you have to do is submit to your wife. It's, that's, that's all you got to do. You have nothing to worry about. Our male maintenance is not expensive. Our male maintenance is maybe $200 max compared to a woman's. It's actually cheap. So when you're in your soft guy era, as long as she's not telling you to do anything that'll risk your life or go against your morals, submit. It's not hard. How hard would it be to live bill free? And just to clean up, if she's respecting you and not making you feel like a slave, then you're good. Just submit. It'll be the easiest soft life you ever live. Listen, as a man in this soft guy era, there's a couple women that you need to avoid, especially with our first annual soft guy summer coming up. Uh, First of all, I'm sorry to say it, Goody, but any women that are coming from the HHU, we, we can't deal with them this summer. We're in a soft guy summer, okay? Just because they can satisfy us in a certain way doesn't mean they can satisfy us in every way. So we can't deal with them. Sorry, Goody. Uh, number two, um, if her tires are bald, we're not dealing with her because she has no traction. She can slip and fall and be on another man's, you know what, at any given time. She can't be trusted. Uh, if her brakes squeak, she can't stop even if she wanted to stop. So we're not dealing with that either. Uh, number three. Uh, any women that are in the sections this summer and aren't bringing any sparkles to the section, uh, just being in there pretty 15 deep, can't go in on a $300 bottle. We're not dealing with those brokies. OK, we're dealing with only baddies this summer. This summer, if her car isn't German engineered, we're not dealing with her. Uh, if she has a Hyundai, Honda, Toyota, Corolla, anything that you see normally on the streets, we're not dealing with her. We want the ones with the 745s. The, 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 the Beamer trucks, the G wagons. We want the real high class baddies, you know? So, you know, that's just a couple trips and a couple tips that I'll give you guys and women to stay away from this summer. Um, and if you take my, my course and my guide as a soft guy, you will have a successful soft guy summer. And thank you for coming to my TED talk. Appreciate it. Guys. Oh, we know exactly what you ladies want, but we're not giving it anymore. Drizzle, drizzle. <laughs> We're done with the patriarchy and this old archaic way of doing things where we're supposed to provide and protect for you. Where we're supposed to be willing to risk and give our lives for you. Listen, we don't need to bring anything to the table because we are the table. Without my seed, you can't have any kids, drizzle, drizzle. <laughs> See, for the people who don't get it, they're joking. They're using what many women have said on this app and they're just saying kind of the same thing that's what it would sound like if men would talk like how many women have talked on on this and y'all just eat you're, you're just eating you're eating <laughs> you're eating it up 
And you're getting the hey, they're getting paid because I'm sure their numbers is doing good and blowing on while you're frustrated. Some responses and comments is showing me that it it hit a it hit a nerve. Me, I don't really care because I'm not in that. Y'all are just providing me with peak entertainment as I take a break from my anime edits. And even though it started as satire, a lot of guys are like, "No, no, we're we're not joking, bro." I'm sure <laughs> you're gonna have guys, unfortunately, that are gonna take this to the extreme me i don't see much of this is real at all this is not real life to me it's just talk to me that's what much of social media is essentially at the heart of it a lot of men are just looking for respect and if you think oh well don't you think this is harmful don't you think this is damaging the, 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 the. i know this is satire but a lot of things i've heard women say on the other side that's not so if you can just go jizu jizu or spaka spaka or pata pata <laughs> whatever you want we need to talk about the serious parts of the soft guy era 90 percent of it is straight jokes but that 10 percent is what is trying to be driven home by these men and myself as well in a world where women are making close to the same as men men having to spend their damn near their entire paycheck just to provide for a woman who also has a job it's bonkers. I've been seeing a lot of counterpoints that women make like guys who are financially stable have no problem providing for a woman. And there's a, a key point that they ignore on purpose. Regular adult who, who is financially stable might have, you know, $10,000 saved, has a car, an apartment, a house, wherever he lives, pays all his bills, all his bills are on auto pay. But if he's normal here in this normal world in America, then he may, if he's lucky, have $1,000 left over at the end of the month for himself. Now, let's just say that a woman enters his life and she's one of those types that need a provider. She moves in with him um, and all this, that, and the third. Now he has to pay everything. They kiss each other and go to work every day. He comes home, he's still paying for everything. Say he makes $5,000 a month and all his bills are $4,000 a month. He's still paying all the bills. He still has his $1,000 in his pocket at the end of every month, which he probably won't, but. Here's the serious part, now listen up. If we are both making close to the same amount of money and you move into my life and I'm still paying all my bills, but you get to get away from the rent that you were paying to come into my life how is that fair to me the fact of the matter is women know it's not fair because they would never do it the whole uh he had his girl move in with him and help with his mortgage that his name is on sweetheart would you ever save up for the down payment on the house go through underwriting get a whole mortgage get a whole house, go through all that shit by yourself, have a man move in with you, and then not contribute to the bills of that house? Let's think about this. You would call that man a leech because that's exactly what he would be. I know, I know that we're all in our soft guy era. Nah, that's what that king should be doing. She should be a provider, woody, woody, woo. But let's be for real. A woman would never accept that. But y'all think a man should because you just heard on the internet that a man is a provider and a protector. I even heard a lady say... My husband give me a soft life because I give him a soft life. I massage his back when he get home and I cook for him. And y'all always argue like you could pay for all those things. But let's be real. Who's going to pay for a massage? Who's going to pay for, for a professional chef? You're not a professional masseuse. You're not a professional chef. That man was eating before you and he was living just fine without fucking massages every day. That massage and that trash ass food you cooking is not worth $3,000 of rent. You know how we all know it's not worth all the whole rent? Because if he said, you know what? Stop, stop massaging me and cooking for me. Just pay the rent. I, I'd be all right without that stuff. You'd be like, huh? <laughs> you know, I'm disappointed in a lot of y'all. I see all this concern about, ooh, what about your car? Did y'all not watch the video? Look, I appreciate that you're worried about my car. But did you pay attention at all? This woman didn't hold the door. She took me to a chain restaurant. You saw the laundry list of bullshit this woman put me through in a short amount of time. This is some narcissistic dark triad shit. She is in some 
dark energies. I, w I didn't feel safe. I didn't feel safe. Sometimes when a dangerous person has your keys, you got to walk away from the car. You just got to walk away. I knew this woman for 20 minutes of my life and she gaslit me into forgetting that it was my car. That's emotional and psychological abuse. And that's what they all do. Don't you understand? Anytime a date goes poorly or a relationship falls apart, it's because they're a narcissist. Duh. I mean, look, thank you. Thank you for your concern about the car. But I'd really appreciate a little more concern about my safety. Look, in our soft guy era, we, we, we can't just be letting the matriarchy put us in positions like this all the time. We've got to be, we've got to be smarter than that. We've got to keep our head on a swivel. You know, I, and look, the car, I'm going to miss it. Maybe it'll turn up. I, I, I don't know. But in that moment, pulling up to a chain restaurant, look, she clearly needs that car more than I do. So I'm just going to have to let it go because she's, She's just not the type of person that can bring what I need. She doesn't have stacks. I mean, look, we, we all know what it is. You know what it is. If you want to drain this gherkin, you've got to drain the birkin. Open the bag up. Get it out. She wasn't getting it out. She wasn't getting shit out. Drizzle, drizzle. Is that a cash app tag? Like sprinkle, sprinkle. It's a new generation of men, so are, are Reed. so feminine. Read. Drizzle, drizzle. I thought they was talking about Drake. It doesn't Not stick funny. as good as sprinkle, sprinkle. Though. You're salty. Sound like you're actually drooling. You're salty. You're salty. Okay. Sound like you're drooling. Sound like your water bill about to get cut off. Imagine. Anyway. Is that a fake Louis cup? <laughs> Hey, so you're telling me the Sprinkle Sprinkle lady is taking cash app donations from her stream? That is modern day poverty. Now, anyone, <laughs> anyone that supports the Sprinkle Sprinkle movement, I'm going to assume you're broke. The leader has a cash app tag for donations. That's a bad look. He was so hurt, heart full of hatred. She said, Drizzle, drizzle doesn't sound as good as sprinkle, sprinkle. Are we like in the ninth grade? <laughs> <laughs> Literally. Shut up, bitch. Also, by the way, whoever your eyebrow lady is, fire her immediately. <laughs> <laughs> hey, since the sprinkle, sprinkle says something, hey, Mark, we dropping these May 3rd. May 3rd, the soft guy era merch drops. Lee Goody is so good at this. <laughs> It's as if he has been waiting for this his whole life because, man, the way he's attacking. <laughs> is that a catch up? <laughs> to be honest, the first time I, I, I saw, I was able to put a face to a sprinkle, sprinkle lady. It wasn't what I was expecting. And I'm not the only one that felt that disappointed. Because based on the what I'm hearing, oh, Sprinkle Sprinkle has made me to regain my worth. She has made me know how to be a woman. And na, 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 na. When I saw, I said, okay, 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 okay. <laughs>